From now on, we will look at the uh, two observational but analytic study design, um, case control, and cohort study. Unlike the descriptive designs, analytic studies are designed to search for why and how disease occurs. So in doing so, probably the biggest assumption um, made behind the disease occurrence is that no disease occurs at random. So there must be a reason behind it. So if we know the, uh, know the cause or the reason, then we should be able to prevent it from happening. So that is the uh, kind of a belief behind the, um, the analytical study design. Um, so these underlying causes or things that are related to the occurrence of diseases called exposure, risk factors, or determinants in epidemiology. So this refers to any characteristic that potentially affects the health outcomes such as virus, bacteria, lifestyle, environmental factors, or genetic makeup. So any of them um, or the combination of these uh, will be, will be um, uh, exposure examples of uh, exposure. Um, when we think about exposures, we think of them um, usually as kind of a harmful or negative, but it can be beneficial too. And it is very important to establish the timeline between the exposure and disease in analytic study designs. As we, you know, previ uh, previously seen from the post hoc fallacy, it is not sufficient to make something as cause uh, just because it came before the outcome in time because anything can you know possibly come before the outcome however <clears throat> it is a necessary condition for a cause or causes to occur before the outcome occurs so um, let's illustrate this uh, exposure then disease assumption so here is a healthy population at time zero. Now this population is exposed to a, some, or all of the risk factors. And typically there can be multiple factors contributing to the occurrence of a disease instead of a single definitive cause. Then sometime later, a disease may or may not occur, and once disease occurs, then the possible outcomes are um, the following. Um, so either recovery, disability, or even death, uh, depending upon the resilience of the person, type of disease, or environmental factor. So the uh, major goal of the analytic study is to find out the relationship between these exposures to a certain risk factors um, in question and then the occurrence of certain disease. So in this final diagram, the time, the actual sequence of events, as actual sequence of events uh, will flow from left to right. A cohort study uh, will initiate the investigation from the exposure side of the diagram, and then investigator will watch and learn how the exposure unfolds in time into different outcomes. On the other hand, the case control study will start its query from the disease end of the diagram and work backwards in time to find out the potential exposures that might have triggered the disease. So in each design, um, so there are two things that are different. So the starting points of the investigation and the direction of the investigation in time. So typically the poor study follows the problem as time flows, uh, whereas case control study follows problem backwards in time. However, what they have in common is that both studies employ control groups for comparison, which is the key characteristics, uh, a characteristic of an analytic study design.